Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Erica, and hopefully you can actually see this video. It is nighttime. My lighting sucks. I'm sorry, but today I'm going to be making some calico critter furniture. I've already drawn up some sketches, so this is the bunk bed, and I've already cut out my pieces, but I will discuss them with you. I do want my bunk bed to probably have a closet if I can actually make the closet attached to the bunk bed, which I will zoom in and show you. Here is the closet. I do want to have maybe like a dual mirrors, like one on each side of the door if I choose to do a closet or not. I do also want for the kids room as well as the bunk beds in the closet that's made into the bunk bed. I also want there to be like a separate piece of furniture that is like a shelf also possibly have like a coat hat rack of some sort and a toy box made into that and i think this one would be pretty easy the bunk bed is going to be kind of simple too so let's go ahead and get started with that so to get started with the bunk bed itself I went ahead and I measured the dolls and they came about about 3 inches, so they're very tiny. It's 112 scale and I typically work in 16 scale, so this was definitely a challenge for sure. Um, so this is actually this is the, front of the box. This is the box that I used, but I used the lemon lime one. These taste delicious. And this is a pretty big size box. So what I did was I had did this <laughs> and then it was something like that and then I left the tabs there's my paper anyways I left the tabs open and I left about half an inch on each side because I want it to fold over like that and all of this is going to be on the inside and it's going to be covered this way it will make painting so much easier for when I do the outside so that is what I did, and this is like I said about 3 inches, and these are about half an inch each. And um, since it is wide, and this is about 1 inch, I went ahead and I cut it in half, so I can make 2 and... Did the other one freaking fall too? No it didn't, here it is. Okay, so now I have 2, and this is going to be the bunk bed. I'm waiting on my hot glue gun to warm up it's disgusting I know but that is the bunk bed also I went ahead and I cut down some four straws and they are about they're almost they're a little bit over maybe five and a half inches um, according to the board I don't actually have a ruler so I'm using my grandma's board um, so yeah, I went ahead and I cut four because I do want this, I can explain it, and these are going to be painted as well. So what I do want is I want them to kind of go up like that, which we will get to that as soon as the hot glue hurries up and warms up. Because, I mean, you totally could use tacky glue for this if you wanted to. I'm using hot glue because it's fast and the babies need to go to bed and they need a bed. So that is it. Oh, and let's talk about the mattresses. I got this from Bentley House Minis. She recycled this for her cardboard house, or I believe, no, it wasn't her cardboard house, excuse me. It was the Princess in the Pea bed that she did, and I think it was like a collab or something. And she used packaging, the bubble wrap for mattresses. So I thought that was cool. So what I did was I just folded it three times and I put it inside. And I'm going to cover this with fabric as soon as I decide on what fabric I want to use. So that is what I'm doing. This one kind of like split in half. But it's it's just one long piece. Like, so yeah.
Okay, so here is the finished product. Um, I do need to touch up the paint later on, but I think as of right now, it's okay. I do still need to add on a doorknob, but here is the closet. They have a shelf and they have a mirror. And I'm gonna go ahead and close that because it's kind of creepy leaving the closet open. Then I made them some bedding. It's matchy matchy. And they got some pillows. Like I said, I need to touch up the paint later on. But here is the little shelf and the little toy chest that does open, which is so cute. Um, so I still need to make a rug and stuff in here, but I think it turned out really cute. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!